Group 2, hi, welcome to your reading about what does 2021 have in store for you? Have in store for you. Please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. And let's jump into your reading. So we're starting off with career and career and finances. I'll give you an overall reading for what the year will hold out. What do we have? Oh, the Empress. Strong energy regarding money. Career. That one wanted to come out, so I'm going to take it. Okay. So we have the Empress. The charming motherly figure of the Empress is traditionally associated, I can't even talk, associated with the time of harvest, a time of great plenty and for sharing. Her presence in any reading will indicate comfortable times financially heading the way of the person having this reading. Also indicator of gifts of money or even property. Very promising opening for your financial reading for 2021. Some of you may literally be mothers or caretakers and um, really getting organized with your money and finances in 2021, planning out budgets, um, putting a savings account away, you know, really planning for this year and for the future. That could be one message that comes from this. Well, you've already done this previously in previous years and now you're reaping the benefits from that because you um, have a little extra money to spend and can indulge in the finer things in life that you've been wanting. But you're very comfortable when it comes to money in 2021, very smart with money, uh, very well-rounded, and you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to your finances. If you are not in a position of financial prosperity, remember that you will be getting organized. Maybe you're seeing a financial counselor, maybe you're getting your pennies um, structured and, as I said, getting that budget put in place, savings put in place, so you will be in a better place financially in 2021. And artist, your work involves pure creativity. You live and breathe this. Get out there and live your passion. So again, if some of you aren't artists or aren't very creative, it just means you're going to be pursuing your dreams this year. Pursuing the life that you want to live. Pursuing the career you want to live. Whatever the situation may be, you're not putting it on hold anymore and you're going to start creating the life you want when it comes to your career. Very positive reading for career and money there, group two. So I look forward to um, hearing in the comments what your dream career is. Interesting energy. Okay, now let's break down each month by month. See what you can expect. Let's have a look, shall we? Ooh. January, February. <clears throat> March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, <coughs> November, December. Okay. You guys have got a lot going on this year. A lot is focusing around love, but we will break down each month by month, okay? For January, opening, opening strong with a soulmate card. So some of you are already in a really strong karmic partner relationship. Some of you will be meeting a soulmate karmic relationship. Someone will be coming into your life. You may already have met them and you're dating them. You've already been with them. And you know it's special. You know it's... Um, so what are the definitions of a soulmate? You know, in love, instant connection, can't get them off your mind knowing and wanting them all the time, you know, just you feel it, past life connection, soulmate connection, very, very strong, very, very important, and opening January really strong, so there's three different um, stories here, you're either with them already, you're um, just dating them now, or you have 
yet to meet them. <coughs> but in January next year, you will be. Huge emphasis on a special connection. Stop it, please. That will be coming your way. All right, let's check your love life. Even though, yes, hello from heaven. Your loved one in heaven is watching over you and loves you so much. Stop it, please. Sorry, my daughter's in the background being a pig, so please excuse the burping. This is what children do. Can you stop it, please? <coughs> so your loved one in, in heaven have played a part in sending you this person, have sent you a part, <laughs> played the part in sending you this person. And um, I said that twice, didn't I? Sorry, I've got to get my mind focused back on the reading. The birds chirping, the YouTube happening in the background. <sighs> Focusing my energy, bringing it back to you guys. Your angels, ancestors, spiritual team have sent you this person. You know it's special. But for some of you, it isn't a true soulmate. It is a false soul soulmate. Some of you know it's real and you can feel it. But some of you... It has been sent as a test to maybe learn a lesson in love. Maybe you jump into relationships too quickly. Maybe you needed a relationship to fulfill you. The difference you'll be able to tell because um, you'll still be questioning it. You'll still be, um, you know, up in your head about it. So for some of you, it's true. For some of you, it is a test, okay? All right, let's check your energy for uh, January. Yes, alone time. The universe is emphasizing what I just said. Some of you, this definitely is a test and it's like, are you going to break the usual habits of love that you jump into relationships too fast or are too codependent on relationships and not taking this time out in between to heal? You actually got two cards. Note to yourself, you need this alone time to be able to separate from old love, old experiences, um, go on this healing journey and heal and break free from this kind of love that you used to have and can't have anymore. Your past relationships have been very unhealthy and you're jumping into new relationships to sort of feel comfortable and help yourself get over the other person. You need to be alone, allow yourself to heal and break the patterns, um, repeating patterns of this love cycle that you've been in, okay? For some of you, it is true love. It's very... Um, clear message that spirit is wanting to test you with this love, but some of you it is genuine and real, so take it as it resonates. Yes, dust the illusion, see? It is the test that universe is trying to get you to get this dusty illusion out of your head, trying to make you go on this healing journey, trying to make you heal and feel better before you jump into something new with somebody new. All right, let's get you one final card for your January. I'm not going to take two. I only want one, please. Okay. Oh, it keeps giving me two. I only want, really, really want one card. Okay. Yes, towel moment reversed. You are not letting your true soulmate come in. By not changing the way you love, by not changing your love style, you're repeating the same pattern over and over again, getting the same results over and over again. And you need to break this cycle of love that you've been stuck in in order to have your tower moment upright and allow your true love to actually come into your life. I'm glad I persisted and didn't take those four cards that came out first because I, I knew that you needed one card. And this tower moment reversed. You're stopping your own blessings from happening. You're stopping your own progression from happening. You're stopping your own future from coming forward. So really, really listen and take the advice of what the universe is telling you, okay? All right. February, no. Maybe you do actually listen and maybe you do start to actually change. But then again, no is coming up February. You are being stubborn again. You are clinging on to this person, this false soulmate that you think you have. Again, remember some of you, it is a true soulmate, but it's not showing up as this needs to be your story. So if it, we don't get more of a story about this, maybe try a different pile. Or maybe there's just mixed messages that you needed to hear, okay? But clear messages, no, you're not listening, no, you're still clinging on, no, you're still loving the same style, and you're not letting go of this false love that you have in your life. Because you're still questioning it every day, you're still knowing that red flags are coming up, and you're just not listening to your own intuition and self. Release the past garbage. In order to move on, you must first release your ex, release and cleanse your energy. 
Can it get any more clearer from spirit than this card? You are not listening. You're saying no. Being stubborn, holding on to situations and people that no longer serve you. Let the past go. Plan your energy. Go on this healing journey. And then, and only then, when you, will you get the love that you desperately want and seek and find. And want to find, sorry. Indecision. You're sitting on that plank. Not wanting to let love go. I feel like you're one of these people that needs love to complete. You need love to make you happy. You need to let it go. Be alone. Get okay with being alone. Get okay with loving yourself. Pouring into your own cup. Filling your own life with happiness. Being alone on your own. In order to get the pure love that you have coming. And I do feel that it, you will get this pure love at some point in your time. But your indecision and your past repeating patterns is holding this love back i keep saying it over and over again and it's because spirit is making me say it over and over again you're not going to get it through your head until you start taking the actions necessary okay let's check what you need to know about february motion sickness it literally makes you sick thinking of being alone the thought of being alone, the feeling of being alone actually makes you feel sick. The thought, feeling, everything in your body of being alone just rejects it and makes you feel literally sick. Again, you've got to move past this. You and only you can make yourself okay with being alone. And until you do, and until you step into the energy of being okay, the universe is going to keep making these patterns and throwing these situations that don't go anywhere into your life. Is timber wood clarify your life? As I just said, into your life, you need to clarify your life. Take control of your life by the reins. Take control. Be okay alone. Work on yourself. Work on self love, healing, being alone, pouring into your own cup. Only you can do the work that's required. Only you can make yourself feel better, okay? March intimidation maybe Gemma please the person that is stopping again you're still carrying it on you guys are very either very broken or very very stubborn very broken or very stubborn because still into March next year you're still feeling intimidated you still don't want to be alone you still don't want to let go of this person even though they're not treating you very well they're giving you bits and pieces of their time they're intimidating you you're just giving 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 and getting nothing in return and you're not happy you are really not happy you're intimidating yourself by not letting go as i said you guys are very stubborn or just very broken and you need a lot of therapy and you need a lot of self-confidence to break this cycle you're very scared of being alone it is very, I feel very, very heartbroken for you, but you need, you know what you need to do. You have to find your strength. You have to want better for yourself. You have to stop holding your life from getting to the stage where the universe wants it to be. And in March next year, the same energy from January and February is still carrying on. Your family bring you together. Let the family members finally set you up. And I feel like this love card is talking about maybe your family see your breaking point. It is not. It is the love they have for you, your friends and family have for you. They're finally going to step in. They're finally going to intervene. They're finally going to break the cycle for you because you're too weak to do it on your own. Maybe you're crying out for help and you've told little, one little person this or they're reading your social media messages seeing how unhappy you are and they finally step in and help you because you can't do it on your own. You know you can do it on your own. You're just scared to physically do it on your own. I feel like you build yourself up and up and up and you feel like, yep, I can finally do it. You get to a point when it's time to actually take this action. You need to cut this person off. But you wimp out at the last minute. So your family step in. They intervene. Maybe you even move back home um, so you can not be alone and you're still surrounded by loved ones. But whatever it is, someone steps in and intervenes here and helps you to cut this person out of your life finally. Okay, yep, so you've got heart chakra. Yes, you need to take time out. Heal your heart chakra. Heal all your chakras, but in particular, heal your heart chakra. 
okay? That is a big message here. Healing your heart, pouring love back into yourself, knowing you can have better, knowing you need to break these unhealthy love patterns, unhealthy love cycles in order to live the life that you need to be and live the happiness you want to live and also receive the kind of love that you deserve. Yes, you need to be alone and drown out the noise. Look, she's underwater, drowning out the noise, not letting any noise come into her world, taking the time to be alone, taking the time to work through her pain, taking the, pain, taking the time to work through her problems. You need to drown. And look how green that card is. Look how much green is on that card. And look how much green is on the heart chakra card. Definitely resonating here. You need to drown out the noise. Go on this healing journey. Be alone completely. And heal yourself. What? In March. Alright. Final message for March. World. Yes. Ending an old cycle. Completing a new cycle. Going on this new journey. Cutting out the crap from the past. The way you love people. Doing everything for everyone else and not accepting things, um, not allowing yourself to be loved completely and wholly, not allowing and, and letting this love come in that is can be given to you. Completely ending a cycle, starting anew, self-worth, journey, healing, abundance. These are the words that are popping up in my head, okay? April. Healing journey is continuing, meant to be. This self-worth journey is happening, it's starting in April. It took you three months of crap and living this life that you no longer want to live to realize your worth. The universe put you through crap and through this shitty situation to teach you the lesson to, you know, you jump into relationships and um, you know it's meant to be. You know you finally learnt your lessons and you finally are taking action towards yourself and just being by yourself. You knew these lessons had to be learnt. You knew you had to be put through these hard times to value your worth and know what kind of, you know, person you really want to be in the future and what you will and won't accept from people in the future. It's a beautiful lesson to learn. We have to be, go through this pain in order to realize our worth. Some people need to learn hard lessons in order to wake up to themselves. All right, love for April. I have known you before, Mag magnetic, deep, instant attraction, past life connection. You know what? I don't feel that you're meeting anyone. You're not allowing yourself to meet anyone. The person you're getting back in touch with is yourself. You are realizing the girl, or, sorry, male or female you were before you became this broken person seeking love, seeking happiness through love, seeking happiness through relationships. You're getting back to the person you were before all this started. Realizing who you were, pouring this love back into yourself and awakening to the person that you used to be. Let's check the energy for April. Yes. You are your own leading lady or leading man. Take it as it resonates. Don't worry about the sex. You are your own leading person in your own life. You realize how special you are. You know your worth. You are getting back to a good, head, healthy headspace and realizing your worth, working on you and taking charge of your own life. That is such a beautiful and healthy energy you're getting back to. And it feels like it's just needed these few little um, patterns corrected, behavioral patterns corrected, and you're finally waking up to the person you used to be. Yes, tower moment. And it's only a little tower moment. It was only these little, small little bits of your behavior you needed to correct that the universe wanted you to correct and it does focus on the way you are loving the way you are jumping into relationships from relationship to relationship the way you are being codependent on someone else to make you happy the little tower is happening you're realizing your self-worth lessons have learned now you're getting your happiness back now you're getting back to the true person that you once were yes resisting this devil energy Resisting who you used to be in the past, changing completely, not being affected by this. It's funny that this comes out after the tower because it's showing that you're resisting this. You're not wanting to go back to that person that you were. You're, not, you're wanting to change completely. And it's healthy. It's really healthy that you are resisting this. And we're jumping into May now. 
and your, your, it's funny because your year is very focused on love. So you guys are really in touch with your emotions and act from a place of heart space. That's what kind of people you are because your whole year so far has been focused on love. So very interesting. Don't give out your number. You won't be giving out your number in Mar um, May. Sorry, You'll be continuing this beautiful journey that you started in April, continuing to work on yourself, continuing to continuing to work on bettering your life and continuing to put energy into you and only you. You won't be giving out your number. You won't be giving out anything. Work on your relationship. It is worth the while, see? And the only person you're having a relationship is with yourself. Staying focused to growth. Staying focused on self-love. Staying focused on your glow up. Amazing. It's a total 180. Yes. War zone. You're still having this doubt. You're still having this people from the past blow up your phone. You're still uh, attracting attention. And you're finding it very hard because usually you just jump in, give out your number and catch up with these people. Some of you used um, attention and sex for, um, for sort of a comfort uh, for a way to be happy you thought by having sex with someone that would make you happy but um, it's not what you wanted you thought at the moment it made you happy but then you went home and you felt horrible about it brutal honest truth and you're becoming a totally different person you still struggle but you are resisting and you're becoming such a strong person through this change good on you okay yes polarized you have a vision of who you want to be, of the person you want to become, of what you want in your life. And you just have this image in your head, this polarized view of where your life wants to take you. And that is what you go back to after you step in this war zone energy. You move back towards. So you resist it, you think about it, and you're like, no, I want this in my life. So I will stick to my guns and I will keep working towards the person I want to be or become. Yep, and you're manifesting that life. As I said, polarize the manifestation. Same sort of things. You know what you want, you know how to achieve it, and you know if you stay, steer that course and get off that course that you will revert back to the person that you were. You don't want to be that person anymore. You want better in your life, and you're manifesting the life that you now want to live. Some of you literally will get pregnant or have are pregnant from this energy or uh, this person that you met in your um, start of the year or maybe last year and you will be having a boy. Or some of, so some of you were literally pregnant or are going to get pregnant and going to have a boy. Um, maybe you mess up now and then and you do have some fun and you do, you know, forget to, you know, stay on your course. It's alright. Healing is messy. Know that it's okay. Some of you may get pregnant in June just be careful if you're not wanting to and you will go on to have a boy okay so know that you I feel like you are staying true to yourself and you are wanting this better life but know that we're only human and we make mistakes and obviously a lot of people like to have sex because it feels good but if this is a warning if you really don't want to get pregnant June will be the month that you fall pregnant and it will go into conceiving a boy Okay, even if you're not with anyone, it can still happen, obviously. Lies. Someone ain't being honest in this connection. Yeah, you're not being honest to yourself. As I said, you're staying strong. You're wanting this new life that you're wanting to create for yourself. But it's okay. You're only human. You slip up. Don't be so hard on yourself. You do go back to your old ways a bit. And you do seek love and attention in the form of sex. And it's fine, okay? You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is not perfect perfect okay this is going to happen so if you are not wanting to get pregnant in june emphasis on june next year wear protection okay take the extra precaution because this is a clear message from the universe that it is going to happen okay yes beating the odds so you've been pre-warned um, you know what you can do to prevent it if you don't want it to happen. Some of you may want a child, so, and again, your world is in your hands. You are in control of your own self, but you're going to beat the odds. Some of you are going to 
give in to this moment and realize, you know what? Stupid me, I slipped up. Sorry, not stupid, that's a bit harsh. Silly me, I, I um, slipped up. I'm going back on my course now. I'm going back on the track that I want to be on. And I'm going to start focusing on that myself. And getting back into the positive mind frame that you can be in. Okay. What do you need to know about June? Besides what I've already told you. Yes, see? Temptation. You are going to be tempted by somebody. It may even be the person of the past. Temptation is big in June. Emphasis on getting pregnant in June. Just be extra, extra wary, okay? That's three times it's, you've been warned now, okay? If you're really not wanting to get pregnant in June next year, be careful. Yes, butterfly effect. Because you're wanting to go, some of you are going to not be able to resist this temptation and get pregnant and... Wanting to and regretting it big time and wanting to go back and change the past and wanting it not to happen. So if you're watching this video and, um, you know, write down notes, write down things that you need to take note of, especially during next year when a big life change is going to take happen, take place for you guys, okay? July, it's funny how your reading is all over the place. It really is. You've got a lot going on. July next year, some of you are actually going to start focusing on looking for a job. You're a part on your change, so from April you start to change. You um, start dreaming and manifesting of the dream job that you're wanting to have. So I'm glad that you're still, you know the search of love is kind of over for you guys. And now you're putting energy back into this job and back into yourself. So you will get a new job or you will start looking for a new job, but job promotion has come up. Um, so focus on financing and wanting better for your life, creating the next chapter in your life in a sense. Finally, got off the love, the love subject for you guys. It's kind of exhausting. Healing the issues, trust, infidelity, family. You are not letting love in by not letting these issues go. Stop letting the past hold you from your future, yeah. So still working on yourself, still a lot of healing to do, not letting true love in, not searching for love, not wanting love. Focusing on what you want for your future. This is why it's come up with the job card because you are going to start focusing on other external factors in your life. Still working on this healing journey, but still also putting energy back into you and the life that you want to create for yourself. Very positive things to do. Yes, new beginning. You start beginning to forget about love. You start beginning to put focus and energy back on the person that you want to be and the person that you want to become. New beginning, putting the energy into where you want to be in life. And that is starting a new job for a lot of you in July. Okay, yes. Also, healing. Going on this healing journey. Serene Woods. Maybe getting in touch with nature more. Yoga is coming up. Exercise is coming up. Good things pouring into your body. Hiking, walking, whatever it is. You're going to start... Um, Doing things that are good for you. Taking this healing journey and taking it seriously. Very, very good healthy energy in July next year. Yes. Because you've realised that you slipped up in June. You don't want that way of life anymore. You don't want to go back to that devil energy. That way of loving that you used to be in. Judgment has come. You've realised what future. And you get back to the energy of the manifest day. Manifesting the life that you want to live. And the person you want to become. Beautiful, beautiful energy in July. For August, escape from the same. Escape from the always the same. So yeah, now you're going to be working. Your life's going to completely change in August next year. You're going to be working. You're going to be healing. You're going to be doing new things. Going on a new adventures. The life has completely changed. And you're becoming a better person of a better version of the person that you used to be. Breaking breaking unhealthy habits, um, working, healing, enjoying life, loving life, living life. You've completely done a 180 on the life and the person that you used to be. Give it some time. Your person is worth waiting for. And the person you're still working on is yourself. You're still not looking for love. You're still not validating any kind of love except for self-love and self-growth. It's saying, give it some time. You've still got a lot of work to do. 
you still don't feel like you're ready within yourself so you've still got a lot of work to do on yourself it makes you sad that you don't have love in your life it makes you sad that you don't have true happiness and true love but you realize that you need to change your habits and the way you used to act and you need to change your life completely until you can allow love to come into your life you need to be in a better headspace and better physically and mentally before you allow any kind of love into your life and you still feel not you like you're not ready inner strength yes becoming stronger remembering how strong you are staying determined and on your course of still sticking to the course of changing the person that you need to become yes using your intuition knowing you want better knowing you're creating a life and becoming the person you want to be using your intuition big time here very proud of you group number two but oh okay back to love again okay september maybe you feel like you've done a lot of work and now you're finally ready to allow some love to come back into your life because you've got romance i feel like it won't be you know you take it seriously but maybe you just need to have a bit of innocent fun and you're going to approach it from a place of um strength you're going to approach it from a place of um you know sensibility instead of just going on a date getting drunk sleeping with them and thinking that's enough um you know that's enough that's okay you're going to approach this romance from a sensible taking a sensible approach to this date i feel like a friend's going to set you up or someone's been trying to talk to you and you finally give in to them and um, you're going on a date, but you're going to take it very slow and sensible and you're going to go out on one date. It's going to be very fast. Um, you're going to be open and honest with them and tell them you're not looking for anything serious, but you're still going to go, you're still going to indulge and you're going to slowly start letting love back in sensibly, which is an amazing turnaround. Meant to be, you feel it in your bones, they're the ones. So maybe you do feel like this person is very connected to you, you feel like they're very special, but again... You're not going to rush into anything like you usually do. You're going to get to know them, take it slowly, even though you want to jump into it pretty quick. You're going to be very sensible about this love. So that's very, very mature. Yes, you're feeling trapped. You just want to rush in. You just wanted to put up the Facebook status of in a relationship. You just want to rush, 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 rush. And you're feeling trapped that you can't do this anymore. But you're becoming a different version of yourself. Okay? very very healthy changes that you've made to your complete persona so you're just going to struggle it's not going to be you know straightforward you're still going to struggle don't worry but you're still resisting so that's good up in the air yes as i said you want to steam full steam ahead into this relationship you want to just go 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 and just jump in but you're being very very sensible you're still doubting yourself, you're wanting to rush in, but you're being very sensible because your logic mind is kicking in and saying, no, I need to stay on my course, I need to finish my healing journey. Enjoy this person, that's great, have fun with them. And um, take the sensible approach. Again, commitment, see? If this person really wants to be committed to you, they will take the time to get to know you and they will understand that you're healing and still going on this journey. And I feel like maybe it is, it is a special connection and you will get to know each other um, slowly and you will maybe be friends and just won't jump into anything soon. But it is commitment. It is available to you. Just take the sensible approach slowly as you have been. Again, jumping into October, you are still worrying about yourself first. Maybe you didn't like the fact that love was being such a huge focus in your life again as September, this person was in your life quite a lot. So you're taking your power back in October, you're worrying about yourself first, getting back on track, worrying about getting back to the healthy energy August brought you, um, work, healing, exercising, healthy mind frames, getting back to the person and the power that you were in August. Very healthy. You've done a complete 180, as I've said before. Very proud of your group too. Dreaming of your soulmate, you know what you want and your thoughts are making them appear to you again. You're always dreaming, I think you guys are big dreamers, big people that act from their heart space. You always want this ultimate love relationship 
that you've always wanted. Maybe you've even wanted it as a child. You're very dreamy, very like Disney princessy sort of energy. And you know what you want, but you are staying strong and thinking with your head and trying to better yourself and your life before you even attempt to have that any kind of that love in your um, life. It's very, very healthy. Community. Getting involved in your community, getting involved in classes, getting involved with your friends and family, going out, socializing, having fun, doing it healthy. As I said, you're just going to stick to you for a while and doing things you want to do and getting involved in your community and getting involved in doing things that you enjoy. Very healthy headspace to be in. A speckle in time. Thinking back about the love that you don't have in your life but finding that love within yourself and with those that are around you. Remembering the emphasis you used to put on happiness and love and remembering it's your past and, you know, wishing you had that again but remembering the strong woman or man that you're becoming and knowing that's a speckle in time of your life that you don't want to repeat. Very, very healthy. I'm like a big smile on my face group too. Completely transformed. Emperor, standing strong, boss babe energy, taking control of your life, taking control of the direction of your life, going and flowing. You guys are just standing in your power and the universe is wide awake acknowledging this in October next year. November, moving on. Moving on and f realizing that you're finally achieving and setting out um, and achieving the goals that you wanted to in the past. Moving on from, and I feel, feel like you're finally waking up and you're achieving the, he the, the healing that, why am I finding it hard to talk right now? I feel like, I don't know why I can't talk right now. This is very, very bizarre. Maybe you guys won't be communicating much next year in November. You're just at a peaceful time in your life where you know that you've finally moved on from the past. You've let it go. You've become the person you needed to become. Your healing journey is over. You're strong. You know what you want in love. You won't accept anything less than you're worth. And you're finally in a healthy headspace and know what you want. And you're maybe ready to allow love back in. But you're going to do it slowly, cautiously, and sensibly. Trust your instincts. You already know the answer. Yes, see? Everything I just said, apply it to this card. You already know. You're going to start allowing love to come back in. But doing it very, very sensibly. Climbing that mountain. You finally climbed that mountain. You might be halfway still or at the peak. Whatever it is, you're not at the bottom anymore. Your journey is complete of healing from the past. You're no longer in that stuck in that past energy of the person that you were. And you're very, very just at peace with your life. You're with your tribe still. You're enjoying your friends, enjoying your family still on this healthy path in life of equality, balance. And it's just a beautiful time in your life to enjoy that. Okay. All right, final card, November. Chariot, yes. Moving forward, moving on with your life, taking control, knowing what direction you want it to go in, and, you know, just being the best version of yourself that you can be. But, by finishing November off very strong, very determined, um, knowing that you want what you want. Back to December, I think when the holidays are coming around, you guys are seeing everybody loved up, seeing everyone with their families, seeing all these beautiful things happening. And the self-doubt creeps back in. Limiting yourself, second-guessing yourself, um, thinking I should have just stayed with that lover, at least I'd still have one, not wanting to be alone. The past is coming back up. It's making you very, very confused. You're not knowing, you know, you're losing yourself in this fear-based thinking you're losing yourself in this oh i should have just stayed in person or was at least i'd have love do not let this um time of the holidays don't do not let this negative thinking overtake all the hard work you've done you've got to remember to bring yourself back to the present moment ground your energy and remember the person you are now and the energy and the changes that um you have taken in your life because again it's even showing up your love card moving in together need I may say more you're thinking about where you would have been with this person if you stayed with this person from the past you think about the life you could have had and um 
you know, maybe it would have been moved in together and, you know, living together each, each day and blah, 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 whatever. You're thinking about this way too much. But, or maybe they've even contacted you again and you're thinking about reconnecting with them. Don't. They made you miserable. They, are, they have not changed and they are causing this confusion, this doubt, this negativity in your life and it is not healthy for you. It's showing up in your first three cards and it's taking you straight back to January's energy. You need to remember all the hard work you've done, all the per hard work you've done to become the person that you are now and this little, little message or reconnection from this past person has put all that doubt back in your mind because this is what you want this is the ultimate happiness you want why pick a fence and you will not get it with this person emotionally they can't give you what you need so that's why you let them go in the first place there is someone out there that will give you all this family home why pick a fence moments ten of cups but you need to remember this when you get stuck in that negative mind frame from this person okay Yes, dreaming of the life that you want, dreaming of the life that you had, that you um, want to create, sorry. You guys are going to be in your head a lot in December. Please, 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 I'm urging you, remember, you can have everything you want in love. Don't undo all the hard work you've done of 2021 because when this person messages you, you're going to be stuck back in that cycle, stuck back in that cycle of upset, negativity, giving and not receiving, okay? You can have everything you want in love but you will not get it from this person, okay? So stay strong, do what you have to do. Don't revert back to past circumstances. Move on, be happy, take your power back and know that you can have everything you want in life, okay? Take care, group two. Bye-bye.